shoes drop the top of it. Bust down, but my wrist time to talk a lot of. I got both my girls head to toe designer. Designer. Drill. Lil bit, lil bit. Lil bit. Uh, let me feel myself a lil bit. Lil bit, lil bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, lil bit. What's the lay that where you find me though? Chacha macho with a rockin' black clothes. Whip around that Batmobile, duckin' 5 0. If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, lil' bro. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Uh. First down, forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Six-yard pickup. Brings up second and four. Vic readies to throw. Flushed out right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Here's Vic. Safety, when I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They will indeed go for it. Vic. He's picked off at his own 46. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right yeah, about the yeah, one-yard line. Tonight. It's a turn. great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see the... He's got his man. It's caught for a man. Touchdown. Raheem Mostert there to make the grab. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They were right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Hey, get in there, get what you want. Jay, get in there, get what you want. What? About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. He finds an opening past the 40. A big seam and he might go all the way. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 67 yards on the ground. Vic now, buying time to his left, and he'll take it into the end 
point away from tying the football game. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. Adam Benatieri set to kick off. So after the block PAT, they're ready to kick this one off. And this carries into the end zone. And Hall not going to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. offense ready to kick off their next drive and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments the 26 yard line play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 on play action now Rodgers and a quick throw here that's complete and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45 19 yards there on the catch and run I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Rodgers will try again on second down. bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, time to perfectly and not the free. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Moster. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Lions. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. Seven to six. Lions 7, Cowboys 6. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The ball carrier. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 16. A run for Snell. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And one. Try to run for it with Snell. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Moster. And they'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Raheem Moster. 
two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions add on to their lead. And Vinatieri now to tack on the PAT. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. Makes the score on Lions, 14. Cowboys, 6. Adam Vinatieri set to kick off. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a short kick taken away at the 16. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. to begin the drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, and let the defense get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. Escaping the pressure right. Solid gain of 27. Cowboys, first down. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Now Tomlin set up first and 10. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five on the way to the three. First that burst good for 20 and a first down. <laughs> Throwing Vic. Steps away to his left. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Just inside the five-yard line. Patrick Willis able to get in there and drop him behind the line. Second down and goal. Line of scrimmage again the four yard line. Second and goal. Vic to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sack back at the five yard line. Now a timeout taken a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. He's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ladanian Tomlinson in the final seconds of the first half. And now the Cowboys are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. But now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. Conversion. From the gun, Vic. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Popular down near the goal line, quick slant. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was. One of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 
their own 26-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see me and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Taken about seven yards deep. Decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely first down seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback so he decided hey I'm gonna hand this off got a good gain out of it and you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage but every one of these RPOs if you do it right and they look the same whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled him with the inside run. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. on the stop. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'll run with Snell. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys 30. It's a game of 34. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now Mostert. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Got his target. It's Vernon Davis. The pass. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Gain of three brings up third and six. To throw, it's Rodgers. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Flush to his right. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. On second down, it's Snell. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Penitentiary connecting on the extra point. And that makes this a nine-point game. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a short kick taking it about the 16. 
The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. The guys made it complete! The Cowboys draw a bit closer. Adam, and when you're thinking about your opening drive in the third quarter, you're thinking about exactly that, putting together a drive. But instead, what did we get? Big pass downfield, touchdown. I, I thought, okay, you know, I'm just sitting back in my chair. Let's get eased in. A couple runs. No. Boom. Yeah, forget the body blows, folks. Let's throw the big shot right now. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Return. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Snell on the shotgun handoff. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage. And they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. With the score, Lions 21, Cowboys 19. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. At the 39-yard line, a gain of two. They'll keep it on the ground. James. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Xavier Howard with a good coverage that time as he was there and knocked it away. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following that long touchdown pass, a one play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. On second down, Vic again. Being chased out left. And he will not make it back to the line scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Jamal Adams on the safety blitz. Too fast to handle. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Michael Vick. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. 38-yard line. A first down throw coming for Vic. 
This is for his running back, Tomlinson. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Good. Short gain, short gain last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. Back to throw. That one's complete to Tomlinson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one. Now Michael Vick. First out to his left. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Get to the a great one, Jamal Rivas. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And that one? Oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Great right way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Rodgers looking to throw. And he'll find Hall. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Six-yard line. Here's James. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and ten at the third. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. He made his first. This from 47 yards out. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that'll push the lead up to eight. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. to the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. So long, everybody.